Every season has its own importance in the world of gardening. But monsoon is the best season for garden lovers to grow new plants and repotting old plants, especially flowering plants like roses, jasmine, hibiscus, plumeria, rain lilies, and some annuals like cosmos, salvia, and marigold. Most of these flowering plants we buy from nursery and then we repot them in new pot with fresh soil mix. And do you know the success of flowering plant depend on what they are growing into. I would say if you want healthy and good flowering plants then proper soil mix is key. Like house plants I like to prepare my own potting mix for flowering plants. So today I will be sharing how to make soil mix especially for flowering plants. Let's begin. First here I am taking an equal part of garden soil and compost. Garden soil is porous, friable structure that usually indicates extensive withering and good drainage. But in some places it has heavier texture and hold water longer than required. It totally depends on the soil texture in your location. Since India has such diverse kind of soil moving from region to region, we majorly have four types of soil in India. Sandy, silty, clay and loamy. Out of this, loamy soil is said to be the most fertile and versatile kind of soil to grow any kind of plant. In Bangalore, we have red laterite and fine loamy to clay soil that is in good texture and holds sufficient amount of water. Whereas in Rajasthan, sandy soil is found that doesn't hold much water. So once you know the kind of soil that you have, then you will just need to work a few steps to increase the quality of your soil type. Generally, garden soil is enriched with organic matter but often needs more nutrients, especially for flowering plants because all flowering plants are heavy feeders. They need good amount of nutrients for impressive flowering. So I have taken equal amount of soil and compost here. Compost adds valuable nutrients to soil and acts as natural slow-release fertilizer for plants and improves the soil quality. Next, I am taking cocoa peat around 20%. Cocoa peat is an excellent lightweight growing medium for home gardening. It improves aeration in the soil for optimal root growth while maintaining the ideal nutrient availability for plants. Cocoa peat is by-product of the coconut industry, often sold in compressed bricks. Before using, place it in bucket of water until it expands. Can store remaining cocoa peat in plastic bag. Cocoa peat helps to loosen heavy soil and promote the healthy growth of plants. So as per your soil texture, you can increase or minimize its ratio. Coco peat is perfect for all types of indoor outdoor flowering and potted plants. The next ingredient is perlite. It is commonly used in potting soil to keep the soil structure loose and to improve drainage. It is lightweight and easy to blend into coco peat or other water retaining ingredients. It helps to reduce the planter's weight. It also helps to minimize the temperature fluctuation in the soil and has a neutral pH level. Next is mustard cake powder. It is an excellent soil amendment. Mustard oil cake powder is obtained after extracting the mustard oil from the mustard seeds. Mustard oil cake are rich source of nitrogen and good source of both potassium and phosphorus and also good source of sulfur, magnesium, manganese and zinc. Hence you provide your plant with all the nutrients it needs for growth and vibrant flowering. The mustard cake is widely used as fertilizer for flowering plants and vegetable plants. If you are using standard 8 into 8 inch pot, then 3 to 4 spoon of mustard cake powder is sufficient. Avoid overdose, excess may burn the plant. 
लास्ट बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन्ग्रेडियंट पर्टिक्युलरली फॉर फ्लारिंग प्लांट्स इज बोन मिल मोस्ट बोन मिल फर्टिलाइजर्स हैव एन एन पी के रेशो अराउंड थ्री एस टू फिफ्टीन एस टू जीरो मीनिंग दे आर लो इन नाइट्रोजन एंड पोटेशियम बट हाई इन फॉस्फरस फॉस्फरस इज की न्यूट्रिय फाउंड इन बोन मिल फर्टिलाइजर विच प्ले मेजर रोल इन फ्लारिंग फोटोसिंथेसिस रूट एंड सीड प्रोडक्शन फॉस्फरस प्रमोट फ्लारिंग एंड बिग ब्लूम्स बोन मिल फर्टिलाइजर रिलीजेस ओवर द स्पैन ऑफ सेवरल मंथ्स इट ब्रेक्स डाउन स्लोली मेकिंग इट द परफेक्ट लॉन्ग टर्म फर्टिलाइजर दैट ओनली नीड्स टू बी अप्लाइड वंस इन फाइव टू सिक्स मंथ्स I am taking one tablespoon of bone meal here. Over fertilizer can push out other nutrients that your plant needs. The ratio of soil mix is garden soil 30%, vermi compost 30%, cocoa peat 20%, perlite 10%, and mustard cake 10%, and bone meal one to two tablespoon per pot. So these are the components that I use for making my flowering plant mix. You can order all these ingredients from Amazon. I will share all the links in the description box. Don't worry too much about getting exact ratio or amounts. Just remember flowering plants are heavy feeders and they need a constant supply of nutrients and need good drainage to avoid root rot. so the potting soil should be rich in organic matter and free well draining always remember whenever you bring new plants from the nursery don't transfer them to new pot immediately wait for 10 to 15 days let them settle at their new place and then transplant them into new pot to minimize transplant shock if you are more interested in indoor plant soil mix then you should check out my video how to make best soil mix or potting mix for indoor plants that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching see you soon till then take care and happy gardening